Impact Lounge is the number one YouTube channel for fans of Impact Wrestling. Make, make a, make a, uh, a good, good lucha, lucha thing. It's just a fact of life. Make sure to follow me at BQ Speaks on Instagram and Twitter. Now, my thoughts on the rumors about Chris Jericho potentially being Impact bound. As incredible as this would be for Impact Wrestling and the fans of the company, especially the hardcore fans who was stuck by the company for many years, especially since day one, I will say something that I said almost a year ago to date about Rey Mysterio potentially coming on board, and that is don't hold your breath. Now let me clarify, however, that I do want this to happen just as much as any hardcore Impact fan wants it to happen. You see, I have a fandom of Chris Jericho that I'd say goes back close to 20 years. In my waning years of watching the WWE products, my favorite wrestlers were Jack Swagger, Tyson Kidd, and Chris Jericho. For him to be potentially involved would be the biggest move the company has made in quite some time, hands down. It actually could have a LeBron James type effect, as it could hold weight in television deal bargaining, it would immediately improve attendance, viewership, social media numbers, streaming numbers, everything across the board. And I'm talking immediately. This is all being said, assuming he came on in some sort of long-term capacity. Now, when the company used Cody for several tapings, it didn't put a single extra butt in the seats. It didn't bring a single extra eye to television. And of course, I'm saying this in relation to the actual numbers, and I don't mean in a literal sense that it didn't bring any extra interest. But that being said, Cody wasn't near as hot as he currently is with the Bullet Club. Going back to what I'd said, though, Chris Jericho would have an immediate impact on the health of the company. But I have a hard time believing that the company could pay him the type of money to do much other than a one-off match at Bound for Glory or maybe a single set of tapings. The two best marketed wrestling events this calendar year, and this includes WrestleMania, in my opinion, are the Jericho Cruise and All In. Jericho declined being part of All In. I'm not saying All In is bigger than Bound for Glory from a global aspect, but as far as its historic mark on the independent pro wrestling scene, it's the beginning of something truly special. And for Chris to deny involvement, one would be skeptical that he would eventually step into an impact ring with a much smaller live audience. Now, five months ago, I would have said no chance. Right now, I would agree that the possibility does exist. However, when the Rey Mysterio rumor came about, the reason I had said, you know, hold your breath, it most likely won't happen, and this is aside from a bidding war with WWE at the time, is that the company at that time had nobody for him to work with. The biggest match that Impact could have put on at the time was Rey Mysterio versus Alberto El Patron, and that's not going to move any needles. With Chris Jericho, you have two opponents that could move that needle, Sammy Callahan and Austin Aries. Now, perhaps Pentagon Jr. provides a potential television opponent and maybe even an Eli Drake, Johnny Impact, or Matt Seidel. But as far as pitching Jericho a special type of opponent to create the biggest program possible on a pay-per-view platform, they only have two viable options, Sammy Callahan and Austin Aries. You have to sell Jericho on doing something historic. No one knows what his current relationship is with the WWE. He had mentioned that he had first pitched the Cruise idea to Vince to feature WWE and NXT, but was turned down. Ring of Honor quickly hopped the board, no pun intended, and eventually Don Callis with Impact Wrestling got involved. So there are two blockbusters at the Jericho Cruise with Sammy Callahan versus Marty Skrull and LAX versus the Young Bucks. I'm sure there's more to come or maybe even more than I'm not aware of. The involvement with this event is pretty huge for Impact Wrestling and it could set the tone for a potential relationship with Chris Jericho. But as far as a potential signing or one-off, it will come down to him deciding if Austin Aries or Sammy Callahan can draw the interest in the audience that is worth his time. It comes down to those two names and nobody else. Hey, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Check out the video below for more Impact Wrestling related content. This is the Impact Lounge.